CSS layout methods like floats, inline block, and absolute positioning have certain limitations and were not designed to handle the layout demands of today's complex, responsive websites. Floats, for example, weren't even intended for page layout. They were really meant for wrapping text around images. I'm Gil, one of the front-end teachers here at Treehouse. In the CSS Flexbox layout course, you'll learn all about Flexbox, an awesome set of CSS properties that give you a flexible way to lay out page content. It's a remarkable layout feature that's redefined how web designers build responsive layouts. With Flexbox, you can change the direction, size, and order of elements, regardless of their original size and order in the HTML. And you can place your content anywhere, from top to bottom, left to right, center, and middle of a container, no matter where they appear in the source code. You can even stretch and shrink elements and distribute space, all with just a few lines of CSS. This makes building responsive layouts that scale from small mobile devices to large desktop screens easier than ever. So I'm excited to introduce you to the powers of Flexbox. If you want to learn how to build complex layouts in less time using Flexbox, check out CSS Flexbox Layout. Thank <laughs> you.